per um, animal breeders are using antibiotics, chicken grow faster. I am not an expert in this. Tell me, what is the effect on the animals? As you said, the chicken grow faster if they are reared in not perfect environments. And it's usually cheaper to rear them in conditions that you don't have to ca take care of so much. So if you give antibiotics, it saves your costs on the environment. But a lot of people don't like it. Uh, they are looking for food which is free from antibiotics. And now moving to humans in a, uh, in a very critical situation, pregnancy, you're doing clinical trials in pregnant women in developing countries and developed countries. And you are looking whether the uh, birth rate can be increased, the rate of SGA can be reduced. So tell me, what is the outcome? <laughs> well, first to answer your, your question of the animal breeding, yes, many people don't like it, and countries like my own, Finland, have decided to ban it, to make it illegal. And that has sort of forced uh, the animal breeders to have a healthy environment, and that's what is happening in Finland. So now, so in the end, it was just a temporary phase where people, where chicken, were getting antibiotics. And perhaps it's the same thing now here. Um, we have an environment which is not perfect in some areas, and antibiotics can possibly uh, do an interim job there. Can cause the, the children who are fetuses or the women who are pregnant now uh, can't wait for 20 years down the line. So today there might be some benefits, and hopefully in 5, 10, 15 years those benefits would have gone because the environments would have become... So do they work or not, the antibiotics? Uh, t in some contexts they do, not in all, and depends on the antibiotic, depends on what are the causes of low birth weight or the preterm birth. So, um, am I, if I'm a mother living in a malaria area, would you recommend some prophylactic med medication? Uh, during yes. pregnancy? Yeah, I think at present I would recommend, and it's not only me, but many others would recommend antimalarial uh, treatment uh, during pregnancy, and actually a couple of times. And if there's a population of young women with a lot of carriers, deep dental carriers, uh, would you also recommend to give antibiotics? No, I don't think at present we have enough information about what antibiotics would do to women with carriers or anything like that. I think we have seen that there's an association that women who have carriers uh, or more advanced uh, infections in the mouth may have worse birth outcomes. So we really don't have evidence uh, that treat giving antibiotics to those women would help. It is possible, and I would like to study that further, but at present I wouldn't start recommending it. And when we talk antibiotics, we talk adverse reactions. For example, bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. Is this an issue during the treatment of It antibiotics? is always an issue. If you go into, not for an individual, but if you go into public health interventions where large numbers of people start getting antibiotics for extended time points. With pregnant women, because in most places the, the number of pregnant women compared to non-pregnant women is always low, uh, and it's a reasonably short duration of, of treatment. So I would guess, and this is a guess, that it would not eventually be a major public health problem, but it's possible. One last question. We all talk about probiotics, intestinal microbiota, healthy microbiota, healthy gut bacteria. If you give to a mother during pregnancy uh, antibiotics, this is dramatically changing, right? Is there a negative aspect? There could be. I think that would be my main concern at present. And that's actually why I'm now pursuing a study or t pursuing to get funding for a study where in a small population of women, I would see what happens with the microbiota, both in the birth uh, reproductive tract and in the intestine of the mother, and then see what happens with the children as well. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.